Hello everyone, the Pokemon Fan 1993 here, back with more Pokemon Christmas version. Uh, this is a Pokemon Gold ROM hack that was made by, um, if I'm pronouncing that right, it's G-L-D-A-A-U-E or something like that. And I believe that's how you pronounce his name, I'm not really sure how to say it like an actual word, but that's basically how you pronounce it. So, during the last episode, <clears throat> he made an alternative, alternative scene where um, you had to go into a nearby cave near Slowpoke Well and basically save the Deli Bird and stop Team Rocket from stealing presents, so basically it's Grinch Stole Christmas, and then, I just, and then I beat Bugsy with very little no problem. So here's my current team. Houndour, Swinot, Sparky, which is a shiny Pikachu and Croknaw. Houndour, Ember, Smog, Weir, and Roar. Swinot, Power Snow, Tackle, Defense, Crawl, and Sand Attack. Sparky, Pikachu, Thundershock, Mud Slap, Slash, and Thunder Wave. And Croknaw, Ice Punch, Water Gun, Scratch, and Leer. And yes, I know I have... I punch very early with this because they give it, you do it very early. You can also use it on for uh, item or teams in this game of as many times as you want. I don't even can anyone else even learn ice punch now? I, I don't think no. I don't think so. I don't think anyone can learn fury cutter either. Could be wrong. No croc knock yeah. But I don't feel a need to actually teach them that. So let's go. Did I'm Pokemon healed? Like do they always do that? Nope, they're not healed. Okay, Hound Hour's still a little hurt. So I made a bad assumption. So, he did a lot more, he moved around items, he, um, I'm gonna assume it's a he, I apologize if it's not. Um, he moved around a bunch of stuff, he made all the, the entire game look like snow. From my understanding, the pack is complete with all 16 badges like it is in Pokemon Crystal. And I believe it's actually, yeah, Crystal. And then, um, he just basically made, like, small things, like he made uh, some water being able to, to skate on to get extra items and stuff like that. So... Ah, someone is going to stop me here. Ryan, is it true? The Team Rocket still really returned while well, you beat them? It's amazing. Won't be much of a match compared to them, but do you want a battle? So it was a good idea I did actually uh, save before I started this battle. Or heal before I started this, before I came around here. Chris wants a battle. Chris has Zig Zagoon, level 12. First time to our level 13. Ember. That should do a fair amount of damage, I would think. Okay, yeah. Go for Tail Whip, that's in the lower Hound Hour's defense. But, at, right now, that's not a huge issue, as long as I didn't start spamming Tackle, Headboard, whatever other attack that has. Oh, crap, that's gonna hurt. Oof. As long as Ember takes it out here, Hound Hour will be just fine. I guess I'm just going to as well. Yes, okay. Hound Hour's gonna have a serious level up, now that we don't have the experience here on Swine Up anymore. Next one is going to be Meryl. So, uh, spit to Sparky for this one. Sparky will be super effective against Meryl's water typing. Wonder where I got the shiny Pikachu from early in the game when you hit the Violet City. You can't actually trade it to a kid for a regular Geodude because he said he didn't like Sparky's, uh, color. Which is basically like any kid, any, uh, new player that would think, oh, this Pokemon looks weird. It's probably something wrong with it or something like that. I mean, even the dad told him it was... It's shiny made it a... Uh, made it a, um... Rare Pokemon, but apparently the kid did not care. Works for me. Okay, so Meryl's down. So I get a little bit of damage. Gained 297. And what's her last Pokemon gonna be? Vulpix. Okay, so that's an interesting one. But look at Croknaw counters that one. They also, in case you guys didn't notice that either, he actually added Gen 3 and 4 Pokemon there, that's why you saw Zigzagoon. And I can tell from the Zigzagoon model, he actually just imported it from uh, Generation uh, 3. So I think here, he really, didn't, he really didn't make, like, I think he, for the most of the Pokemon, he just took the, the back sprites and the stats and everything from Gen 3, which I gotta imagine is much easier than actually re trying to recreate the Pokemon himself. And finding Houndour early on, too. And I also get the Deli Bird in that cave, but they seem quite a hard to catch, so I didn't bother doing that. Chris was defeated. Oh, well, I'm not surprised I lost. I guess I have to train my Pokemon. 960 for winning. Even though I lost, I still love the battle. It helps you, helps you to learn what you can improve, you know? Maybe next time I'll, I'll be a better match for you. In the meantime, never stop your training. I'm gonna keep at it, too. Maybe one day, I'll be even stronger than you are. See you later, Ryan. Best of luck. So now we gotta head back to Pokemon Center one more time heal up. Damage that we took. 
I switched Swamp to the front. Find him as probably the weakest member of my party currently in terms of attacks because Powder Snow is a special attack and Swano and its evolves on Pyro Swine rely more on, fe on physical attack than special attack. Okay, we're done here. I, did, I wonder if I did the far fetch thing like I did in the originals. We'll find out. Try not to get lost in the woods, be careful, okay? You won't get far in the woods unless you can cut down small trees. Fair point, do it. Oh, that's right, I get, I get cut from the guy <clears throat> after I get his far fetch, unless he messes with it. Oh, look at that. that. I think that's a custom sprite. It's a log. I don't think you see a lot of those. Hey, check out my zigzag Oh, there's actually trainers in here. That's interesting. He must have known he was turning up the difficulty, so he added extra trainers. Youngster James would like the battle. What's he got? A zigzag goon. Well, he just told me. I don't understand why he even, why he even thought maybe he had something different. Um, what, swine up stats are okay, I think, yeah. The special attack is quite lower than its regular attack. But I still think Power Snow is more, still stronger regardless, because of the, the stab bonus, which stands for same type attack bonus. Well, I guess we can find out right here. If tackle, if tackle brings down to about half, that means it is stronger. Okay, so Tackle is slightly stronger. Headbutt. That's gonna hurt. Okay, not as bad as I thought. Another Tackle. This one's not as strong as a Headbutt. Okay, that did turn out too bad. I'm kind of worried about Swine up pushing it too much because, it's, like I said, it's relatively weak right now until it learns another good ice move. <sighs> You're just jealous. Number 76 for winning. I just kicked your ass, dude. Wish I had Gardevoir, though. You know, because they're good. Not because I think they're pretty or anything like that. <laughs> that is, like, literally half the Pokemon fanbase thing Gardevoir is cute. I mean, it is as close as you possibly get to a humanoid Pokemon that wasn't like an actual person. So I could understand, like, you know, people having that opinion on her. Or him, depending, because a lot of people don't know this, is that Gardevoir actually can be male, regardless. Just a lot of male Gardevoir end up... Male... Curlia and Ralph end up being Glade instead. Hello. I heard you've saved all those Delibur back in Azalea. Took him my appreciation, I wanted to have you the stage him. Okay, so they're not making me do the uh, whole, whole Farfetch side thing. Probably easier to just remove it all anyway. Let's cut HM. Teach it to a Pokemon to clear small trees. Of course, you have to have the gym badge from Azalea to use it. Alright, let's see who can learn this then. Pretty sure it's just gonna be Crocknaw, but I'm gonna check anyway. Yeah, just Crocknaw. So we're gonna. Take away his scratch attack. Which is, I think it's like 10 power points stronger, but like 5% less accurate. I think that's how cut is. Oh, it doesn't tell you, I forgot. But we can get through the tree now. But I do want to explore the rest of the forest first. We might change some stuff around. Okay, so normally we can just find, usually find bug Pokemon here. We're gonna see what, okay, so there's a Caterpie. That's pretty common. Level 7, though. I don't know how many more trainers there are in here, so I'm gonna beat off... I'm gonna level up off the lower level Pokemon here. Just to be safe. Hondar will take care of most of the bugs by himself. By herself. My bad. There are more trainers in here. The bugs come, won't come out and play. Put with me in their place. You could just walk a little bit due to standing in one spot. They probably come out to play with you then. I mean, they're doing it with me. Bug catcher Nick. Spinarak? No, he has a hair cross. That's actually quite rare. I always wanted to use a hair cross in this game, but I know that getting them from... You only get them from certain trees, and they are quite a pain to, to even find a little catch. Wow, Ember Crit. Nice. I'm gonna get 427. That's a lot. Bucket Nick was defeated. It's too cold. Oh, that's why the bugs are... That would make more sense. Because the bugs are not fans of the cold. Normally there's like an item up here that you can't see. I wonder if it's still here. Okay, it's not. A lot of times just spamming A, eh? sometimes it'll just get you random stuff. Okay, there's an item here. I think that's about it for the forest. It's not a revive. That's, I don't think that's normally there. But I'll take it. Is there anything down here? It looks like there is. Nope, just a stone. What is this? It's glowing. Moss-covered rock. So let's poke one to it. I don't think it's gonna... Yeah. So this is used to evolve Eevee into um, Leafeon. So that's interesting to know that they put that there. I guess he kind of had to, considering he, he ported the Generation 3 and 4 Pokemon here, which 
I believe who or not who who Eevee's the only one that evolved via that way. I said who because it came on stream when I was talking. So that's me just being doy. Ember's not enough. Goes for a growl, but it missed. And Ember will finish it off. I wouldn't mind getting a Leafy on or a Glaceon. I wanna do it in the in the for a Diamond Shining Pro for my playthrough, but you can't you can't get them until um so, you can't get the Eevee itself until you actually beat the game the first time, which at that point is pretty much useless. If you're doing it for a playthrough, anyway. Burn up the Zubat. Leech Life is going to steal a little bit of HP from her. Not much. Probably maybe one or two. Just one. I forget if Smog is it. Oh, yeah, the Zubat is poison. I'm probably going to do enough damage to knock it out. For some reason, for a second there, I thought, yeah, it's not strong enough. It goes for Super Sonic, but it missed. One of the smog should knock it out then. I forgot that Zoo has a poison type. I usually don't um, have a lot of poison Pokemon I deal with that I attack with, so. 51, or, or moves, I should say. So, one experience. Let's head back down to the tree. We'll eventually get there with all the wild Pokemon just getting in our way. Zigzagoon. I'm mainly doing this just because I don't know how far he's pushed the levels of some of the some of the um, trainers and stuff. And Bowsy definitely was a good example. It's, uh, he had three fully evolved bulb Pokemon, with Sepsio Psyphica is already a, a full evolution, one of stage evolution Pokemon. And he was actually decently tough, more tougher than he is in the originals. So I'm just making sure I get as much experience as possible. I don't have to, but I prefer to be over leveled than under leveled. Beetle. Ember. I should one-shot it. Super effective. And that should get Howard Evans to to level up, I would believe. Or come very, very close. Yep, that's enough. Not order level 15. Okay. So now we're going to put Swine Up up. Swine Up should be okay for taking out most of the Pokemon in this area. The shrine's still here. I wonder if you can still get Celebi that way. If it's just... He looks for a shrine. To honor the Forest Protector. Okay, so I can't do anything with it now. I figured, but might as well check it. There's another trainer here. Have you heard of the legendary Pokemon that lives in these woods? Yes, it's actually named as Celebi, for those who don't actually know that. Your chance by cool trainer Sarah, or last Sarah, with a, a winter outfit. Butterfree. This will be interesting. I have Powder Snow, which is super effective, but, uh... Butterfree 11 11 can no confusion, which is a very decently powerful move, so I'm kind of worried about that. It does confusion. Let's see how much that actually does. It does too much of like swap. Okay, that did not do as much as I thought it was going to. It does know a bunch of powders moves, though. I gotta be careful. Hopefully, it doesn't use any of those. That's not gonna do enough, I don't think. Nope. Nope, it actually did do enough. I was gonna give one of a good amount of experience. 376 of it. You defeated last Sarah. I know it's here. Couldn't you see we're winning? I'm sure the legends aren't true. Selby lives in this forest. Yeah, but I don't think you're, I think it has to be chosen or only chose to sell certain people, so you're probably out of luck there, kid. Source lines they feel with the potions I have. Dang it. Hoo hoo. Okay, that's something that Power Stone should be able to take out one or two hits. Nope, it needs to take one more hit, it looks like. Growl. It failed, so I'm gonna go for a tackle. What is it gonna be like 70 experience? 58. This kid still guy still give you headbutt. Hell I am the move tutor. Wait, did you mango? Beg pardon? Oh. I don't have a heart scale. That's interesting. So I can come here and teach Megahorn to a Pokemon. I don't think anyone here can run. Slide Up might be able to learn that, come to think of it, because it does have, technically it has, well, maybe when it evolves, it has Tusk, so that gets Megahorn, I mean, that, I could see that. That's interesting, though, so we've got probably, there's probably a bunch of them all around the world that teach those really strong moves. I have to get our heart scale, I'm not really sure how. Um, there's no underground in this game, so you can't get them that way. I can't remember, like, heart scale was the thing that was introduced to Ocean 3. 
so actually getting one in Generation 2, I don't know anything about. Seven experience points. I found a bright powder, but I can't carry anything. Of course I can't. Because I'm an Eddie, I forgot you don't, You can only carry certain um, amounts of uh, things here. I should have sold the nugget. Well, I can, like, just give the um, Miracle Seed to somebody to free up the inventory space. Unfortunately, now I can't take it from Swino, but I've got an idea. I just need to get Swino basically in one more battle. Enough to push him to level 15. That should work. And then I'm use the rare candy I got on him. And then I'll free up one more space so I can take the Bright Powder and give it to Swino. Because Swino's gonna need it. Swino's a little weak. Poison Sting. Not very effective. I'm gonna unlucky at something one of these points. Up oh, there it is. Plano is now poison, I gotta heal with an antidote. Nice. Is that enough to level him up? Nope, still a little short. I could also do this, let's do this. No, not uh, not use give. I'm gonna do this instead. So we're gonna actually now we're gonna take the uh red power that I have. It, for those that don't know, it lowers the opposed accuracy um, when it's held. Alright, so I took it. Now I, now I have that in my inventory. I don't think I can take that back in my Hound Hour now, but Swine Up could use that Bright Powder. It might give him a small edge. Bright Powder, I think, it decreases the accuracy of all moves your opponent knows by 10%, which isn't a lot, but it might make, be enough for it to miss a couple times. I really don't want to keep facing Lidl, though, so I'm going to keep getting poisoned. Especially if I just miss. Please don't. Okay, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to face the needles. That seems like a dangerous thing. I just keep wasting antidotes. Anything over here now, now that guy's gone, or is there just nothing here? Oh, look at that. I accidentally found... Okay, so some of these logs have items in them. That's good to know. So it was come, worth coming over here, at least for that. There we go. There's something that can, that's not going to poison me. I'm pretty sure that's over my speed, but that's not a huge issue. Tackle. Did you free experience for Swine Up? Got these like, like one experience point off now. Good, another Caterpie. I can knock this one out. That's gonna get swine up enough spirit to hit level 15. I'm using a, a real canyon to hit him to get him to level 16 immediately. Might not be a good idea doing it this early, but what I got to lose. Level 16. Oh, so, wow, swine up was a level 16. I thought it was a lot later than that. Huh. Unless he changed when they evolved, that could be another possibility. I would have evolved the power swine. Do we learn any new moves? It does not. That was a good choice, though. So, how are its stats now? Okay, so yeah, its attack is still much higher than its special attack, but now I have a fully evolved Pokemon, so... I'd say now actually giving that to, um... Pikachu would be a better option. Pikachu is an unevolved Pokemon. Bright Powder... Take the item from Hound Hour. Okay. Jump over this. If you're wondering why I'm like pushing one direction to not tired it was like one tomorrow direction because my deep had slightly screwed up on the controller. Yes, I mentioned using a controller. It's a Nintendo 64. It's something I bought off uh, Amazon. It's like 13 bucks. Essentially, you get them and they basically just plug into your computer. You can use them as an actual like N64 controller. It makes it easier for games. On the S4, they have like the Z button, like for example, Goldeneye, Mario, stuff like that. Mario 64 is what I meant to say. 
I've had enough of the Pokemon here, so I'm just gonna run from them. The log behind this person. I always feel like somebody's watching me. Somebody's watching me. No, it's probably the guard in the forest. What country is Zack? Beedrill. I can't remember if Beedrill bug flying or bug poison. I'm not about to find out. Bug poison, okay. But considering my thunder is so little damage, I'm gonna have to paralyze it. Crap, Twin Needle, that's pretty strong. You know, all the poison, I gotta be careful. But if I take two more of those attacks, it's probably not gonna make it make it much farther. Thunder shot. Where is Sparky gonna be evolved with a thunderstone? Because I know a lot of Pokemon like in this uh like, for example, Pikachu in Generation 1, the Pokemon Yellow version, they couldn't be evolved with a, with a, with a um, Thunderstone. But we'll find out sooner or later. I could go through the entire game with just Sparky being a Pikachu, but I've had experience with that in Pokemon Yellow, it's not exactly a fun experience. Here in Pokemon Experience, Sparky was level 15. What could Zach was defeated? Those woods are, those woods are scary. 190 for winning. Here there is an old haunted house in the in the woods somewhere. The guy told me he went there a few months ago. That's interesting. Maybe out maybe it's somewhere else around here. Switch Hound Hour to go front. I think Hound Hour evolves with a Firestone, but I'm not 100 percent sure on that. I want to say that's a no, but I could be wrong. right there. What are we fighting? A Weedle, something that Hound Hour can one-shot. Hound Hour doesn't even have any experience from this, for this level at all. 59. There's one trainer right here. It's so dark in here, I swear it makes it colder. Yeah, you're probably right. Last Melody liked the battle, and Last Melody set out daily. Interesting. But luckily, something Hound Hour should be able to take care of with a decent amount of damage. Try to take her two or three embers, though, because Bailey's is a second stage Pokemon. Well, maybe only two. Razor Leaf. High critical hit ratio, but uh, not very effective. Baby's gone. Aren't you sure enough if you want experience points? What's our other full plan? Big Zag Zag Was it gonna take two or three embers to knock this one out? Nope, looks like only two. Growl. Or is my attack stab, but Hound doesn't have any physical attacks anyway, so that basically does nothing. Defeated Last Melody. Darn, that didn't that was even warm me up. Hunter Boy for winning. I should have worn something warmer today. Well, I would say so. I mean, you are just. Where's this house they're talking about? Is it across this water here? Nah, who knows. Are you going to Stolen City to check out the new Global Tour mount? It's pretty cool. You should check it out if you weren't already. Honey, you're making Pokedex must be a hard Pokemon mall up here. Try using the PM. Pretty sure that's sweet scent. Is it where a Pokemon up here? Pokemon will be enticed by it. Not very good PM though. Alright, so what else we got here? Okay, so we got one trainer here. Whoops. Still hanging on pretty well. Be fine. This is where I do my training. Samuel. I want to see a bunch of... What, I, what was I expecting? Early game, a lot of people have Raditz, Zigzag, and a bunch of other normal Pokemon. One shot. You have experience points. So he has Raditz. Nope, he has a Sand True. That's a slight problem, but I don't think Sand True at that particular level knows any uh, ground type moves, I think I'm fine. 
mob will not do much to it, though. Defense curl will increase the defense, but that does not matter because I'm using a special attack. Oh, wait, if you guys hear something back there, that's my fan going. I try to turn it down as well as I can, but it's very hot up here. We're on our second floor, so heat rises, and it is the w middle winter, so heat is on. Ember. For Hound Hour and Hound Hour grows level 15. Doesn't learn any moves though. Spiro for the last one. Push the Sparky. Upside, hit the wrong button. Oh well. Hound Hour it is. Stop Hound Hour anyways. She has used, used almost all of her embers. My night experience again. You'd be a youngster, Daniel. What happened? 128 for winning. You lost, dude. That's what happened. I should try out Pilot Swine. We haven't used Pilot. We haven't used him since he woke up this evil. I just got my Pokemon back from the daycare. Let's see how much stronger it got. You're talking about Pokefan, Pokefan Brandon. Snubble. I think this is, this is an ally. I think of the that was here before with Snubble. Charm, but it missed. Charm normally, okay, has a berry. Normally lowers its foe's attack by two stages, but I don't think it's gonna be a huge issue. Unless I keep missing track of that is Charm. Yeah, it's gonna be a problem now, so I'm gonna switch back to Powder Snow because that is a special attack. It's gonna do less damage, but what can you do? Light. Why don't you take it easy and easy, though? Or power swine does that mean? 125 experience. Police Man Brandon was defeated. Why does it end this way? No doubt the choice for winning. This my new moves didn't win I had. The economy to no end. Did it really get found you that much? I mean, we are playing. I mean, Pokemon do war and lose on the ones that do not know that. I'm the best in my class at Pokemon. Well, kid. Time for unfunny joke here. You're about to get schooled then. Uh, uh, uh. Youngster Ian. Oh, this is the one that has the main key. That's a slight problem for Pilot Swine, I think. We're gonna see what happens. Low kick. Not super effective. Not as bad as I thought. Of course, Pilot Swine tackle is gonna start missing. That's gonna put him in critical state. Almost. Tackle. Alright. Thank you so much as other Pokemon. Diglett. Okay, that's not terrible. I, can... I don't think it normally has a Diglett, does he? But Powder Snow is super effective. Now, it knows magnitude of level. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. That's probably enough to have Powder Slime right there. No nope, Powder Slime's hanging on. Wow, one shot. I wasn't expecting that. 207 experience. Mr. Ian was defeated. No, there are better trainers. 120 for winning. Okay, so we're gonna swap Pilot Swine to the back now. Pilot Swine taking a good amount of damage. Put Sparky in front of. Dang it. Give me his stats. Let's drop out uh, Hound Hour. Alright, so I think that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you everyone for watching. This is the Pokemon Fan 1993 signing off. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye.